I'm joined now by Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union. Matt, uh, thank you for coming on the show this morning to have this conversation. And Thanks I wanna, for having me. Sure. I want to start with a little bit of my, my conversation earlier in the show with New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who referenced some of that rhetoric from President Trump. I want to play you what he said. I do believe the president's rhetoric is inflammatory. Uh, I do believe the rhetoric is hyper-partisan, uh, is vulgar, and can incite anger and hate and rancor, and that's where we are. I do hope the American people condemn that type of rhetoric. And so, Matt, let me be very, very clear now. We have no idea what motivated the person or people who sent these packages, these suspicious devices. Don't want to get into that. There is no suggestion that the president himself bears any responsibility for these attacks. We know that that blame lies on whoever sent those envelopes in the mail. So I just want to lay that out there very, very clearly as part of this discussion. What I want to ask you is to pull back more broadly and talk a little bit about the toxic political culture that I think a lot of people would agree we are in right now. Do you believe the president bears any responsibility for that? Uh, well, first, let me just say, Hallie, that I think uh, what's going on with these bombs is really scary. And, and people who are in public service and who are public servants deserve to have personal securities. I think we're all worried about the ricin that was sent to Secretary Mattis, that was sent to Ted Cruz, yeah. these people who have been chased out of restaurants, uh, that have been told that there's no place in society for them, that they have to literally eat their meals in their home because people attack them. There's so much that's going on. And I think the problem we're going to get into now with your question is who's at fault? And I guess I'm going to pull it back even broader. I think we're all at fault, first of all, because we've lost our manners. Yeah, I myself, I find, have to remind myself, like, we're each human beings and we ought to be treated with some respect. And our society seems to have depersonalized everything. You can't get a cup of coffee anymore without the person and the person buying the coffee having any kind of pleasant exchange. Everything is just down to the transaction. It's true in politics, too, where we jump to each other's throats way too quickly. I think there's a lot of blame to go around. And yes, I think uh, uh, social media and mainstream media has a lot to do with why we communicate like this as well. And, and Matt, I take your point. Listen, it is scary, whether it's suspected explosive devices, whether it's suspected rice in that stuff uh, is obviously terrifying to the public servants who receive it. But but you talk about manners here. You talk about the climate that we're in. You right. mentioned the media. You mentioned others. D does President Trump himself in the language that he uses and in the way that he conducts himself bear any responsibility yeah. for the lack of civility that you're talking about? Each one of us does. I think the difference is for Trump is, is that, uh, Hallie, much of the coverage starting last night turned into this Trump is responsible for the fact that our politics seem to be more coarse. And that's exactly the problem, which is people in the media too quickly want to blame Trump for almost everything. And they don't say this. I didn't see, I saw your highlight reel, but do you know what it's like to have the former top law enforcement official in the United States government, Eric Holder, say it's okay to kick people like me? I don't think that's so, appropriate. I want to see that. Eric Holder did say How he wasn't talking Hillary about anything Clinton. illegal. He wasn't talking about yes, anything he is. inappropriate. That's, that, he that's assault he, he and specifically, battery. That's he specifically assault clarified and battery. that. That's, it's that's assault what I want to just make clear. It's assault and battery. He shouldn't say it. And nobody criticized He's, him except Michelle Obama. He specifically said it was a metaphor that he did not mean that anybody nice, should do nice anything try, appropriate. And 72 that is not hours the, later. But, but wait nice a second, try. Matt. I wonder, you, you're, it seems to me, and, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me that you are trying to draw an equivalency between the language that President Trump uses and the language that, for example, Eric Holder, as you just brought up, no, used. Let me no, show Eric you. Wait Holder's, a second. Wait a second. Let Eric me just play. I want to read you worse. something. Hang on one much second. Worse. Matthew Dowd, who used to work, obviously, for the Bush administration, yes. has this. I, I want to read you what he, what he writes. He says, this is not a both sides moment, he says. This starts with the president. There is no Democratic leader fomenting hate and division, even close to what the president is doing and has done, GOP members need to speak out against the leader of their tribe and drop the both sides BS. Do Republicans need to do more to speak out against that kind of rhetoric, even when it comes from President Trump? 
Well, this is exa you, that example that you just read, Hallie, and I respect you, but Matthew Dowd left the Republican Party, is a partisan liberal, supports Democrats, and is a never Trumper. So I don't so know why I have to get lectured to. So his point is invalid because of his political to, views? No, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to lecture. I'm asking. You said who used to, you implied that he's a Republican. He is not even close to being a Republican. He, and yes, he wants to push a political advantage on these terrible things that are happening amongst us. And I think that's a mistake. I only bring up Eric Holder because the premise of this interview is somehow Donald Trump is responsible for people fomenting violence in the streets. I actually think it's Donald Trump Matt, who is standing up and saying we're not going to be blamed, which is a, a, a ridiculous charge. You know, when Republicans want I think we were to... really clear, though, Matt, at the top of the segment, that's not what I'm doing. We're not okay. trying to draw that right, line. It's about the culture and, and the there. climate that we are in, and that is okay. how we started this discussion, and that's why we wanted to have you on. Okay, fair enough. Ask a question, okay. I'll answer it. Well, we're, um, we're out of time because we already talked about it on the press. <laughs> the toxic culture, and you've made your point clear. So, Matt, I appreciate you coming others. on. And the others. And the others.